Ovintis no telespetadores er tetel nian, iharai lara no mos reliur, hamutuk fale ho hau, jeralu leki bor simenis, ho programa war force development program timor leste nian. Programa idane realiza, tama servis hamutuk enter secretary estado formasam profesional no emprego, ho programa WDPTL. Itine to topik ku base saun idane, maka bizaun, peski sedor, no akademi kunian, ba redusaun tasa desemprego, no kriasaun oportunidade servisu. Bat Timor Wan, Liliu Joven Sira. Ita iha orador no bainaka spesial ida, profesor akademik ida husi Monash University, Universiti di Bot ida iha Australia no halo servisu iha nasaun sub desenvol bidu Sira, inklui Timor Leste ho nasaun seluk. Profesor nen naram profesor Brett Inder, nen udar profesor ba desenvol mento area ekonomi kunian iha Monash University. Ini halo piskiza oi oi, iha Timor Leste, liu tinan sanur resin rua liona. No visita bebek, mai Timor Leste. Ini piskiza, dalam borak liu, halai liu bar desenvolve hot tema, sira liga, liga ba ekonomia komunidad ini nian. Iha ini nian servis ini, ini hakara klori pratika dia ke internasional sira nian, mai iha situasaun realidadi Timor Leste nian. Nia publika ona peskiza liu sanur esin rua, kona ba asunt ekonomi ke hati moreste, inklui area redusaun de pobreza, hakia ka hadiah ka agrikultura, kafe, floresta, desenvolumen tu sektor privado, nutrisaun, desemprego, no ekonomi ba edukasaun, no seluktan. I profesor Bretmos nia gosta los hemu kafe timor. Uh, Professor Brett, uh, welcome to to the RTTL uh, TV talk show, and welcome to the pathways to uh, employment discussion today. Uh, we are happy on behalf of the Secretary of State of the uh, Training and Employment and the Workforce Development Program Timor Leste. Uh, we would like to welcome to you to this info important event. Your uh, contribution and your uh, uh, ideas uh, will be very valuable for the country. Uh, I would like to let you know that the discussion is divided into three three parts. Uh, first, I would like to explore the general perspective uh, on employment, what are the challenges, and your recommendation on how Timor-Leste can create more employment opportunities for Timorese uh, people, and particularly Timorese youths. Uh, to have a tempo ba discussion in my itaba rona itania orador nia perspectiva ba asunto desemprego, no emprego iha Timor Leste e tamba itania orador ne la bele colia uh, tetu so ne bele colia uh, inglês de então ita uh, discussa ita ne se halo iha inglês e nudar mos moderador uh, lidera sesão ita ne uh, buka atu for sumario ituan ituan ba uh, informação sabe sira ne ben nia se hato uh, mai ita hahu uh, professor Brett uh, I'm going to the first section of the discussion. So, my on the on your general perspective of the youth bulge and unemployment in Timor Leste. As someone outside from Timor Leste, but have been familiar with the government system and and the people, what is your view uh, on the importance of reduction unemployment rate in Timor Leste? and uh, the importance of youth bulge that is coming up in the in the Timor Leste population. Uh, time and space is uh, yours, Professor. Well, thank you uh, very much, uh, Geraldo, and uh, thank you for the opportunity to share some thoughts. And I apologize that uh, I speak in English and not in Tetan, uh, but I, I'm sure that Aldo will be uh, very capable of summarizing what I say uh, for the audience. I'll try my best. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <good>. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings from Australia. I wish I could join you all in uh, Timor Leste, but difficult times and difficult to travel. So I am stuck here. It is the longest time I have been away from Timor Leste for many years and I'm missing it very much, missing you all very much. Uh, your question around 
why is this important uh, is a very good one and I think it is usually not difficult to convince people in Timor-Leste that this is an important issue because often you observe even just in the streets of Delhi uh, many young people first of all and secondly many young people who do not appear to be busy in jobs uh, who appear in some way or another to be unemployed so what people see every day is that reality so everybody is very aware of the importance of this issue we can also confirm what you see every day by looking at the evidence at the data mm. and when we look at the data it it confirms that view that we have from our everyday observation for example in Timor Leste a very large percentage of the working age population are what are called youth in fact 37 percent of the working age population so people aged between 15 and 64 are youth aged between 15 and 24. that is a very large percent that is one way of describing what's called the youth bulge simply the large number of young people who were born uh, around uh, the year 2000 uh, after the uh, uh, Indonesians left and around the time of, in, of restoration of independence many young people were born in that period and are now coming into adulthood 37 <coughs> percent of the working age adults are in that category compared to many other countries take Vietnam for example where it is around 15 percent of young people in that category so Timor Leste compared to most neighboring countries have a very large percentage of young adults looking for work and we can only imagine the importance <coughs> of employment for those young people as they finish their education and are looking for a way of contributing to the economy if they are unable to get work then this is the beginnings of uh, what's described as a vulnerable stage of a young person's life they are vulnerable because there is not a clear path for them to contribute positively to the economy to their families and to their livelihoods and therefore to society as a whole and when they are unable to contribute then their whole sense of purpose can also begin to be lost and so those young people are at a very vulnerable stage if they are unable to find employment okay uh, so that's one side of the challenge maybe i should pause there for you okay thank you uh Itania Professor Hatete Katak Timor ne abe seda dana barakliu be ita joven mak barakliu Uh, Nina populasaun ne joven barakliu mabe la iha sirbisu antau ba barakliu ne sira tama iha kategoria desemprego i bazia ba itania statistika itania forsa trabailu 37% husi forsa trabailu ne mak ema joven uh, populasaun ne joven forsa trabailu ne refere ba uh, ema ho ida di 15 to 64 ne be bele sirbisu turas da sirbisu mai be husi ida di husi 15 to 24% ne Pasa parte ta trinta sete por cento, tiga por tuzo per cento, antau inda ne a a bot te tebes kompara ho nasan sira seluk, tama nasan sira seluk, sira iha duni a iut balk a idari joven sne barak, mai be a menu susi kinzi por cento, timor leste iha kira trinta sete por cento, antau inda ne sai ha nasan a a kes taun ida, kes taun inda bot ba timor leste, i bot ne be reali dadi a a ita ho tu hare, inklui profesor mas hare kata buat ne be realidad ne itania populasaun meman barak duni tamba itania uh, ema dia baby booming uh, ema barak mori si uh, 99 bahira indonesia uh, fila depois de 2000 sama ita uh, abar sira mori barak antau agora sira tamana idadi 
uh, idade distribusinian mai be uh, itene kampu trabailu labele uh, labele absorba sira tau idane sai nudar uh, kes taun ida ba ita hutu ba sosira di timor nomos ba nasau timor uh, oke okay, uh, profesor berat uh, do you still have something to add uh, yes so we have uh, On one side, a large number of young people moving into adulthood and finishing their education and looking for work. On the other side, we have an economy which is in transition. The majority of the households in Timor-Leste have, in uh, their recent history, been subsistence agricultural households. Rural areas, uh, mostly making their livelihoods from growing their own food and selling a small portion of that. That's historically where the economy has been built from. But we all know that that is a situation of low incomes and poor nutrition and high poverty. So young people are moving away from that opportunity and looking for alternative opportunities where they can make more use of their education, where they can earn more than simply living off their basic livelihoods. And yet the economy is not ready yet for that large influx of young people. Every year, around about 30,000 young people finish school finish or finish education school or university 30,000 young people hmm. and so this the the large influx of young people looking for work and on the other side a very small economy that, that is not creating jobs anywhere near quickly enough to absorb that big growth in young people So that is what a big challenge that Timor-Leste faces. Okay, uh, there's a few more that uh, Timor uh, has soru, maka uh, ite ha numero barak, uh, zoven barak nebe hotu uh, serna iskola iha soru nida, uh, kwaze 13 mil uh, puro anu nebe ha, ha, hotu serna be iskola. Mwebe iha itena ekonomia ne barak liu uh, ekonomi subsistensia, iha area agricultura nian ia sukus no aldea ita uh, dalam barang ne halo halo para atuhan he mula o satu fanga hal hal tu halo be profit husine e entau ita ekonomi ne labele absorbe uh, numero ne beke bot i e, ida nemo sai ke town i e, desa few bot ba timor leste ya yeah, continue professor so to illustrate the challenge in the labor market of many people looking for jobs and not being any jobs available. We can compare the unemployment rate for the whole population with the unemployment rate for young people aged 15 to 24. For the overall population, we estimate the unemployment rate to be about 11%. For young people aged 15 to 24, the unemployment rate is over 33%. So one young person in three who would like to have a job cannot get a job. Okay, I think that is, uh, I need to make it clear. Uh, yeah. Uh, who's in your perspective, Katak? Ita kon compara ba total popular sound, uh, total be uh, forza travail une, ita uya 11%. Mai be kwana ita hare de ida di jovens, ida di jovens, ida di kinzi to ba jovens ida di idadi kinzi to vinti kwatro anus, ita iha trinta ita tres por cento, signifika ema nain <hesitation> uh, tolu, ida husi ema nain tolu hakara buka sirbisu, hakara iha sirbisu, mai be sira lahetan sirbisu, ida nea sai hanesan kestaun <hesitation> ida ba ida ba ita narain, yep. Continue, Paul. So, to come back to your question, why is 
youth unemployment important and why is the youth bulge important? It is because this is the future of the economy. These young people will be the people who make the Timor-Leste economy grow and make the society more prosperous. Okay. It's, yeah, yeah, very important that they begin their working life in a successful way. Yeah. Idane hasam be idari joven sirane barak ne importante para hare tama sirane mak se contribui ba desenvolvement Timor Leste ne niu oinsa atu halo na saune sai prospre prospero ka Morris dia iha futuro mai. I think I I have a follow up question regarding the challenges, barriers and challenges. So one of the of the issues you raise in the in your paper is uh, discussing about the youth bulbs becoming uh, a blessing uh, or uh, can become a threat. Uh, can you explain uh, those uh, two, why it is a threat and why it is a blessing? Uh, Ovintis Telespetrores, how should it preguntas katak oinsan husnini hare katak popula saun idari ho idari joven 15 to 24 anos ne barak ne sai hane sam ben saung ida batimor e sai mos hane sam fal desafio buat ida batimor tama sama dehan desafio tama sama ne sai hane san buat dia ki ida batimor este bai tabarona ya yo ten professor thank you so the reason that people sometimes refer to a youth old as a blessing is that if you have a society with many young people in, of working age and fewer older people like me, then young people are better workers. Normally, they are better educated because their education system has improved. They are stronger and fitter and, and they have more ideas for the future. So young people make great workers. And so an economy which has more young people and less old people has greater economic potential. That's the blessing of the youth bulge. Mm. But on the other side, if those young people cannot find a way to use their education and their strength and their creativity in some kind of job, then that blessing becomes a burden because mm. those young people are going to struggle to connect with society and with the economy and there will be uh, problems for them and for their families and for society as time goes on. Okay, uh, thank you, Professor. Nia uh, Hare Katakwondo I have na sound ida sosedar de ida ne beke ema joven barak liu o feri katua si tua ne diak ne diak tamba bahira joven barak sira bele sait travel dor ida ne beke diak liu kapas liu i have ideas ine inovatifu barak atu contribute by ekonomi no mas contribute by design movementu mai be sekarik mak be sira ne la iha servisu. La hija oportunidad de tu uso ser nema tenek, a tu uso ser nema capacidad de belemos sai problema, sai problema la os de ba ser nema, sai problema ba ser nema familia, y tenés sociedad de no mos na saun tomak. Antaun na saun ida hanesan timor ho popula saun ida di joven barak, barak, belemos sai hanesan diak y belemos sai at. Antaun Sai oin samak bele eksplorat dia kliutan, ho dia segura katak sira bele kontribui dia kliu ba itinerain, mai ita ba rona. Oke, please continue on how the better, how Timor Leste can better use of these opportunities to get ready for creating more employment opportunities or creating a good education system to contribute to better human resources and uh, to ensure that the youth bulbs at the moment can become better thinkers, better uh, 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 decision makers 
in the future for a better Timor Leste and a, and a stable neighbor of Timor Leste to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Um, yeah, that, uh, that is a big question which we all <laughs> look to for the answer of how do we solve this challenge? How do we make sure that these young people are a blessing yeah. and not a burden? Yep. And so that is about building a uh, economic foundations with a strong focus on employment. So there are ways of building the economy of Timor Leste, which will help our gross domestic product, our GDP to be strong, but which will not make a difference to employment. For example, as you know, Timor Leste is very reliant on the oil and gas sector for revenues. Uh, the royalties and the taxes from the oil and gas uh, created the Petroleum Fund, which has more than $16 billion in the fund, and which for many years has funded the government budget. Whilst there is a great benefit from the oil and gas sector in revenues, Petroleum Fund revenues, it does not create employment. Only a few hundred people in Timor Leste work in oil and gas. So you will not find work for the 30,000 young people finishing education every year in oil and gas. Mm. Because oil and gas is mostly uh, capital intensive work. There is not many jobs in oil and gas. Yeah. Okay. So we know that there are some things that will not be employment creating types of growth. And it's not to say we shouldn't pursue those, but we must look for alternatives which do create jobs. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, I will have a follow up question to you and before I summarize. Uh, in your statement, you said uh, the petro petroleum fund or even the oil and gas will not create uh, more opportunities uh, in employment. However, uh, by looking in, into the uh, Timor Leste Strategic Development Plan, which uh, I know you are aware of, uh, the, there are areas of diversification. For instance, Timor Leste is looking for a diversify its economy, non-non oil and non oil and gas dependency, looking into the uh, agriculture, tourism, and um, other sort of uh, uh, yeah. areas to build the economy, to complement the economy. What is uh, your view on that? Is this, uh, uh, are we Timor Leste on the right direction or the petroleum fund or the revenue from oil, oil and gas itself is, uh, can be a burden to us in the future? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a great question. Um, and I think the, the uh, the short answer is the strategic development plan focus on economic diversification through agriculture, tourism, services, and some light manufacturing is excellent. That is exactly where Timor Leste will need to head in the years to come. The challenge is how to build those sectors and especially how to make them attractive to young people. Hmm. Because let us take agriculture as the biggest and the most challenging example of that. <coughs> agriculture currently employs 60% of the adults in Timor Leste, mostly farmers living on their own land, growing crops and raising animals small, very small scale agriculture. Young people are not generally keen on continuing that lifestyle. Mm. And we can see in the evidence that many, many young people grow up in the rural areas and between the age of 15 and 20, they leave the rural area and come to the city. And they are looking for a different type of work 
they are firstly coming for, to finish their education, which is excellent, but they are also looking for a future in employment that is not working on the farm back home. So what we have to do is work out how do we create or how do we make agriculture an attractive and exciting career for young people. Okay. And this is the great challenge of economic diversification as it affects young people. Yeah, I'll have a follow-up question uh, regarding how to do that uh, to you. And uh, I would like to summarize this first to our audience to Uh, yeah. Itu nih Profesor deh angkat Timor Leste nih kita uh, dalam barang kiri dependensi bah itu nih uh, osan ihusi minyak gas uh, nebe lagu dauk lagu dauk ihusi investment itu uh, fundu petrolifero. Uh, Mai be sektor itu nih nih saya label kria uh, emprego barang kiri bah Timor Leste sira. I entahun itu label ihah osan Mai be sektor nih label uh, absorb eh mabarak entahun nema kita husu. Uh, How much susu konawa SDP tenia sta plan strategi ku dezemol menti nasional nebe pro komersial si dozmili onzi to dozmili trinta kolia konawa diversifikasau ni tenia ekonomia li husi area agrikultura turismo no manufaktura seluk tan nebe ohin temi i nia hateten katak ne kapas tebes dia aktif tebes planu ne planu kapas ane ma dehan esilenti ma ibe ni nia dezafiu mo se iha oisa ita bele hare katak dezafiu Uh, ne bela saya oportuniti di bawah Jawaban Syria nomor sebab Timor Leste ia futuru uh, example ini nebe ke ita foti maka ita foti agrikultura agora ema feri katuas barak liu iha area rurais ne sirbisi iha toa sa natar mai be Jawaban Syria dalam barak ne sira mai dili mai permeru ne mai ha uh, mai asidadi uh, hakotu sirna iha uh, iskola uh, hotu sirna iskola uh, dalam barak sira ladun atrai ladun uh, Hare kata agrikultura ne sektor ida ne beke bele desenvolve etno ekonomia ba sirne a nomos sirne a nomos na saun antaun ita sirbisu oi samak bele halo sektor sira harus agrikultura sai sektor ne be atraktif ke tebes ba joven sira iha futuro oke profesor since you have mentioned that uh, there is a challenges uh, on uh, improving the agriculture and uh, also other sectors in Timor Leste particularly the agriculture in your experience uh, working with other developing countries uh, in the asia and uh, particularly uh, somewhere in pacific uh, depends on your experience uh, what is the better way of attracting uh, many young people to become uh, to in, in, industrialize uh, agriculture well, you know rather than uh, continue working uh, you know uh, traditional uh, uh, way on how to modernize and industrialize that sector to be able to contribute to employment creation excellent question and you have given us a clue in your question in general a young person will be more excited about agriculture if it is presented to them as a opportunity to modernize and to improve the way things are done. Let me give you an example. Mm. In a visit to the KK some years ago, I met a young person who had spent a few months working in Australia on an overseas worker program. He came back with some money and he came back with some ideas and he came back to the small village where his family was doing everyday agriculture in very simple ways. And he used his money to build a large enclosure for chickens so that instead of the chickens wandering around the garden freely, They were protected from uh, predators inside the cage. Their eggs would be laid somewhere safe. They could be fed consistently. And the process of producing uh, broiler chickens as well as eggs was modernized by that young person with a simple step of building a cage, which cost money and took expertise and skill but most of all took 
uh, idea and energy of a young people person to make it happen. So he was an example of a young person to modernising by agriculture and seeing opportunity. Um, and so if we can support and encourage that kind of transformation of agriculture, it will be young people who drive that process and that will create many, many jobs for them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, since the is is from the young people that has the skill and then also the capital. What about you know those who haven't been overseas? They have their education here, and then uh, yeah. uh, how to do that? Because we know that for those who are living in uh, working in Australia, Korea, those that are coming are coming back with two teams or with three things. One is the skills. The other is the knowledge, and the third is the the capital, the money that they come. In. So they they have they have all three things, uh, which is from the some from the government cooperation as Korea and uh, Australia, but uh, like the UK that coming back also you know, they, they're doing similar to, sort of things. What about the opportunities for those who haven't been overseas and they finish their education or they are you know in Delhi or in the in the municipalities uh, on how to make uh, this sector is attractive? for them to be able to contribute to have this uh, to, to go through the same process of uh, you know modernizing or industrializing the the sector yes yeah, so the uh, that, that the secret here is to be patient and to uh, accept the fact that some people will be leaders some mm. will be what's called first movers So this young person in BKK that I've described is a first mover. He was the first person in his community, in his suku, to do something different and to modernize. Once he started doing it, then other people would look and learn. So the next generation of people, they don't need to go to Australia to get the skills or the education. They simply have to go to the next village to learn from this young person. So the answers most of the time are actually already there within the country of Timor-Leste. You don't need to go to Australia to learn how to modernise agriculture. You just need a few ideas and some enthusiasm and some capital. Okay. And a few people who are brave enough to take the initiative and then others can follow. Okay. So Thanks. the first thing is creating a culture of... Uh, Uh, enthusiasm for change and for development and for improvement and that is led by the people of Timor Leste for the people of Timor Leste okay so if I was going to encourage people on how to modernize their agriculture I would not necessarily send them some foreign expert I would send them to my friend the KK that is a key part of building momentum okay Thank you, but of course, you need skills and you need capital. So you need enthusiasm, skills and capital. Okay. So you get your enthusiasm by seeing examples of others and saying, I can do that too. Okay. You get your skills by learning from others, <coughs> but also by the very important work of organisations like Sofope and of the other training colleges that are around. So it is extremely important for young people to continue to pursue their education. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, let me summarize the key points. Yeah. Tu iri tania orador ni hanoin kata oinsa atu moderniza moderniza sektor agrikultura, sektor seseluk ne bedia kriutan ba bele atrai ba zoven sira. Kazu ida ni as foti husi vikeke, timor ita ni maalin ida ne be servisi iha iha Australia, pois mai pila falin ni Ujian ini awasan ini kena semen ini menyeh tan ini halo modernisan ini hakiak manu iha iha bikeke hodi manu mas label husik bela fohan manu hodia bela hetan rendement tu dia keluar ni ho ni famila. I antahun ita hari kata servisu hamos husu tan servis ni iha liur tu se ni iha liur ni iha awasan ni iha bil dadi nomos ni iha kapital bela mai nomos ni iha Kunesemen tu bela halo, mungkin orang sah siran ni beke laba. Ini ni hatang kata lapisi jah haruka ema baliur para tuba besera atau bahaprene. 
a mai be ni bele a grupo ida rua ne be ha a i ha ona kapasidade i ha ona konesimento atu moderniza se torne bele aprende mamalu antam informação ho si kune transparência conhecimento ho habilidade ne bele i ha ra ilaran rasik la precisa ita ten ki babuka heliur mai be moderniza saun ida ne be ke timor an makhalo ba timor an i ba ra ida ne ida ne makni a hato e niamos coleta então quando a papel a educação nenian a tu contribui a modernização do setor estira ok professor Brett I would like to because you touch on a bit of education and in your previous paper you describe the economic economic for education or something like that in about that and then I would like to ask you the question of how the education sector uh, uh, the main uh, general uh, main, the mainstream of education and technical vocational education and training uh, which is under the, the uh, auspice of uh, C4P how can contribute to modernize that economy modernize tourism modernize uh, agriculture in the, the improve the connectivity of the infrastructure from one area to the other to to ensure that the market is moving the market is not dealer centric but it's that looking forward to have some, something like uh, more Timor centric rather than Dili centric. <laughs> your, uh, uh, mm -hmm. your response, Mom. <laughs> sure. Yes, uh, 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 I have uh, worked on economic development in Timor Leste for many years, and I have really come to the conclusion that the uh, most important key to success is the human potential people. And people need to be well educated and well prepared for work. So education becomes a very important part of the puzzle. And quality of education becomes essential. The evidence internationally is that people can, young people can go through school and finish their school, but often they have not learned very much and they are not really prepared for work. Mm. So we need to improve the quality of education and we need to improve the vocational focus of education. So for example, in the education ministry, there is an, a plan for some secondary education to be more focused on vocational uh, education. And I think that is an excellent initiative. Mm. But impo more important than that though, is quality. Okay. We must ensure that young people are well educated and really, really know what they are learning and can apply it when they get out into the workforce. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Uh, it's an order that uh, education is important to you uh, uh, to modernize uh, society. Uh, no more modernize the sector. Uh, ed, Anton, education is precise. It is quality. No more better preparation. Uh, Timor Leste ba service. It is uh, pronto to be service. Anton, say that it is precise. Hello, it is precise. Had you any quality education? Any? Including most be uh, area nebe focus ba iha formasaun profesional ka tibet nebe ke plano iha sefopen ya okos nomos iha ministerio edukasaun nomos plano atu halo uh, eskola sekundaria ba uh, vocational ne uh, importante uh, oinsa atu uh, bele uh, contribui ba recurso mani da nebe ke dia kliu iha futuro oke okay, my next question professor uh, Tibet originally uh, developed from uh, Europe and uh, some other countries, uh, which is uh, the root is, uh, uh, it is good to, to speak and we like to plan, uh, but the, the challenges remain, particularly around the uh, running a Tibet uh, training uh, in, uh, in, in Timor Leste or any other countries. It's like a big investment. Uh, what is the propose uh, what do you propose on uh, maximizing the education sector particularly in tibet to ensure that timorese be able to respond to the the demand 
that the labor market needs, local labor market, I mean, and also the overseas employment opportunities. Uh, currently, Korea, Australia, but there are plans to to expand in the future. What do you think of that? Uh, maybe could I ask you just to repeat the question? Although I, I yeah. Okay. What is the best way of investment in the technical vocational education and training or TVET sector to ensure that that Timorese system, education system, can respond to the, the need of lo local labor market, the jobs that is created by locally, in the, and also overseas op employment opportunities. For sure. instance, now it's like we have okay. the, the cooperation between Korea, Korea and Timor and Australia and Timor, but uh, there are plans uh, that talked about that will expand to other uh, other areas, other, other yeah, countries. Great, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Understand now, yeah. Um, the uh, Tibet sector is very important. In Timor-Leste, it is very small. A small percentage of young people pursue uh, uh, training and education through Tibet. Yeah. So the scale is quite small. Yep. I come back to that word, qualidade, qualidade, quality, again. Yes. The key thing is building quality. But I'm a great fan of a quality that relies on the best of Timorese uh, uh, leadership and the best of foreign technical support. So if I can... Uh, and I think that is very applicable to the way in which uh, training organisations are set up. There is some excellent skills amongst Timorese to run organisations and to provide leadership in education, but there is also often a need to bring in foreign experts to assist with that. So I think we need a little bit of creativity for how we get the best of local skills in training and education mm. and foreign expertise. So, for example, we have uh, some universities in, in Timor-Leste which are almost totally run by Timorese with yeah. few foreigners. And then we have the other extreme, some education or institutions run almost totally by foreigners with a relatively small role for the Timorese. We need to work out a better way to work in partnership so that we get the best of both. Okay, thank you, Professor. Whilst it's... Yeah. Yeah. Then, uh, Professor, I think that the education formation personnel is important to us to contribute to the economy. In reality, I think that the people who are in the world are in the formation personnel in Tibet. Maybe ne Tibet ne important the Tibet satu satu kria kontribusi bagi kualiti kualiti dan lebih ke dia ke Timor. Maka presiden iha edukasi kami dan lebih leader husi emas Timor one. Maybe hetan mas apoi peritus husi husi emas internasional kau sih railir. Orang sah tu bela desenvolve kualiti dan lebih ke dia keluar tahunnya. Ha forsa makas iha setor iha parseriannya parser servis sama untuk niya. Ada sangat orang yang itu ni universiti di Barak, nabe servis sama untuk kau be Malayur, nabe lideran nabe Barak emat Timoran, mus iha itu sama baru nabe ke emat Malayur mak lideran. Ita persisnya buka dalan dia keliu orang sah tu zera ida ne dia keliu tan hodi nune kualiti dia duka sama bat Timoran nabe ke dia hodi bela kontribusi bah ekonomia. Okay, my next question. Uh, as Tibet is important, uh, and the whole education system is important, and uh, before I came to have this discussion, I read through uh, some of the state budget. I look at the 2021 budget. Uh, Timor Leste allocates, uh, uh, I think, 30, uh, 78 per, uh, million or at five percent of the state budget to the uh, state budget to for education. Um, yeah. And I look at the Southeast Asian regions. Uh, I look at Malaysia, Singapore, and I think uh, I also read your uh, your uh, research on the education last time. And uh, mo most of these countries, they uh, they allocate 15 to 20 percent of the state budget for education to ensure that yep. the education system 
and also the Tibet uh, itself uh, have better quality. How much percentage do you think is, is enough? <laughs> And how much percentage is too much for yeah. a country like yeah. Timor Leste to invest in education? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, uh, yeah, you're you're very you're very uh, accurate with your analysis that Timor Leste is investing a very small percentage of the budget in education compared to neighbouring countries, less than half. Yeah. And if you do not invest, you do not see the improvements in quality. And we see that in uh, data from the Ministry of Education where you have senior secondary schools with an average class size of 70 students per teacher. Hmm. And I visit the school in my friend's uh, suburb of Bacora, a senior secondary school with a couple of thousand students, three computers in the whole school, um, classes that have to share classrooms because there are not enough classrooms and virtually no facilities. You will not get a quality education if you do not invest in quality education. But it's not that simple because we cannot simply give money to the Ministry of Education and expect them to know how to spend for example, twice as much money well. Mm, yeah. They need help to spend that money well. And so we need to invest the best of people, the best of human resources in developing the education system alongside the best of funding. I was once asked if I was the Prime Minister of Timor-Leste for one day, what would I do? And yeah. I said, I would find the 10 smartest people I could find in Timor-Leste and I would put them all in the Ministry of Education and I would give them six months to find to come up with a plan for how to invest not 70 million but 150 million dollars in education next year a plan for investing it well okay and I reckon they'd come up with a great plan that would make a big difference to the education of young people and that's a slightly uh, unrealistic dream, but uh, wouldn't it be great if we could move in that direction? Okay, thank you. Uh, hopefully, Timor Leste will, fa will find a, uh, a coffee or bread in the Prime Minister in Timor. <laughs> 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 okay, how for summarize that? By uh, Professor Nicolette, that Timor Leste man invested uh, Osan Kikuan Tebes by Itania Setor Education. Ana sana foto example itu ni abe dari rumah mestri ida tengke hanor ini student barak tip tebes i student barak mus sekolah baru student barak nebe lahir salah dari aula sila tengke faham salah dari aula antau kualiti ni ita susah ituan para tu bela asyikulah kata itu nak kualiti ni iha ida seluk mus itu nak falta dari kipam entus sira dari rumah iha sana student atus bah atus mabe dari rumah komputer ni ruat tolu date orang sama itu bela asyikulah kualiti ni dia difisil I nunemos la simple sana sana kata kita tu for date osan badet ministeri edukasaun sinor ministeri gak ministra edukasaun par ni atu dah gasta osan par atu hadiah kelas kualitari ne nemos la os simple sana sana ni buat tidak nebe ke ni hateten kata presisa tahu rekurs humano ida nebe ke dia eman nebe iha kunesimentu nebe iha resmi solari buat ya parte edukasaun ini atu bela kontribui Bah, desa mulai itu sektor edukasi ni hati mor. Ni foto ini example ida. Nabi Ohin Hamas Salim hari tuan Hania kata, esperat na tem seluk mai bela sahasan senior ida naran sahaja mas bersaik primer minister hati mor. Senior dia se Hamas saik primer minister lorong ida karik. Primer minister hati mor lorong ida. How say hili? How husma how say ida mato halo karik? How say hili? Emana insanul? Ema matenek nain insanul ida hati mor? How tau hamu tu ko sirah fatin ida? Hau fosira fulan nen atau desain desain bola be planu ba be hadiah kuliah di Dukasau ni Timor. Hau sendi kata ni fair kata emasiran es semai ho planu ida nebe ke dia. Oinsa atau hadiah kuliah di Dukasau ni na dia liutang. Do you have anything else to add on that, Mount? I accept to say that in the economic recovery plan. Uh, I, was, I, uh, I was going to COVID ask you that. <laughs> last year, the, uh, the Commission recommended 
that Timor Leste move towards a doubling of the education ministry budget over uh, some years. So this is not my idea entirely. Yeah. Uh, there are others within Timor Leste who is see that the future of the economy and the future of young people contributing well to the economy is a strong education of those young people. Okay, thank you, Mon. Uh, I read through the SDP, the Strategic Development Plan. They also talk about this much money that will go into, and I think they mentioned about like uh, uh, yeah. hundred, hundreds of education uh, budget into the education um, uh, system. And also the pre also mentioned that. Uh, do you think it will be achievable uh, given the COVID-19 um, uh, pandemic and also uh, you know, this kind of situation, the recent flood that affected Timor-Leste? Do you think uh, Timor-Leste will be achieve uh, its economic recovery plan uh, in the future to have a, a productive and decent employment that will be created for Timorese? Yes, so um, absolutely, I believe it's achievable. Uh, Timor Leste has been very blessed with uh, the petroleum fund mm. and the revenues from oil and gas, which has allowed Timor Leste time to build the foundations of a prosperous economy. Uh, that time has been passing s slowly and will not last forever. The revenues from the petroleum fund are declining. Mm. And so there is not, there is some urgency to build this diversified economy. But there is still time. There is no need to panic. Mm. And the future is in the next generation, this generation of young people. If they are well educated, and then they are given support to enter into work, employment, uh, in agriculture, in tourism, in services, and in light manufacturing. Timor Leste will look very different in 15 years time. Okay. And the economy will be much healthier. And most, once you build momentum in these things, it will build on itself. So I believe it's very achievable. And the Timor Leste people, uh, I think you're very committed to it, and so I do think it will happen. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Itania Professor Kahate and Katakita. Iha Itania Plano Recuperation Economian, Nemos Commissione, recommenda atu dupla or some orsamento by Educasonian Iha Iha Futuru. I Nemaka Husu Katakitania SDP Mos Amenta Dehan Milan Honesane, Nemos Agora Itania Be Plano Recuperation Economia Halo Idansne, Tuir Nia Hanoi Nia Dehan Itabella Tinsigalai. Nia emaida po optimistika no mosi si plano ne beke Timor Leste iha kata Timor Leste iha komitmentu i dan ne belhalo sekarik ida plano ne mak implementa iha ba oin Timor Leste nia ekonomia sei diferente liu iha tina sanu resir nia lima nia larang kompara ho agora i ida ne buat ne be nia hanoin kata ne plano sirne dia tep tebes ba Timor Leste atu atinzi nia be objektibu. Okay, uh, <clears throat> Professor, uh, one of the questions I would like to ask is uh, what, what is how Timor-Leste can maximize the uh, skills and knowledge that is uh, bring, uh, bringing in by international experts and also the Timorese uh, that work overseas to ensure that the economy is benefited and the people is benefited uh, from, uh, from now onwards? Yeah, good question. In the, um, in the, uh, the eighth constitutional government uh, employment strategy, overseas workers play quite an important role and they also play a role in the national employment strategy. And that is because overseas workers uh, come back, can come back from overseas with uh, a whole new vision how the economy can grow and how they can do their bit for society and for the economy. Okay. So I think it is very wise to invest in that. 
Okay, thank you. The, the, question, the question is how to make the most of those young people yeah. uh, as they return. Okay. And yeah. Okay, thank you very much. And that uh, has, yeah, good. Thank you very much, Professor. He gave a very good insight of the uh, unemployment, youth bulls, and the overall development of the uh, on how Timor Leste move forward on diversifying the economy and contribute to the uh, employment creation. As uh, so due to time, uh, we are almost the, the end of the of the program. I would like to have you to uh, give your final uh, 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 speech uh, for us on how to sure. move forward from there. Uh, you have two minutes. Okay, thank you. The uh, uh, I'm really pleased to be able to to uh, discuss this topic, and because uh, this is when you think about an economy, sometimes people describe the economy by numbers like inflation and GDP and um, strange concepts that most of us are not familiar with. But the heart of the economy is the everyday lives of people. Mm. People who live, who prepare their own food, who buy things, who sell things, who earn income, who spend money at the shops. That is the everyday lives of people. That is the economy. And employment is a critical part of that. And for young people living into adulthood, employment opportunities are absolutely critical. Okay. So in addressing the youth challenges, I just want to reinforce these two paths to, to the future. One is the path of creating jobs for young people. And we have explored some ways that can happen through agriculture and other areas. And the second path of creating uh, people who are more ready for work, job, people who are job ready through a strong education and vocational education system. It's not a radical set of proposals, but it's very important. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Professor. Obrigado, Barak. Obindis telespetadores. Idanemak hun no rohan ba itania na diskusaw. Mensaje ni ikos nebe itania Professor Fo kata kiha dalang ruwa makatu halo o insa bele hadia itania ekonomia. Idanemak tenki kria emprego. Lihus area setor agrikultura, turismo no seluk tan. Ida seluk mak o insa Bele halo jovem sirane pronto ba servisu nia i habilidade ni reconhecimento para o nomas e hadnia nia i atitude ni nia i be buat tida commitment para bel ba servisu i mercado ne beke i anoin hu no rohan makida ne obrigado barak i ita hasor malu fali i se saun selo thank you very much professor brett this is the end of the discussion and once uh, when you leave to, uh, you come to Timor, let's uh, have a discussion uh, on further exploring the ideas and the, uh, this discussion forward. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you, yeah. Thank you, Aldo, that was okay. great. We appreciate Thank you. that. Thank you. Thank you, okay. Uh, and uh, do let me know uh, where my friends, my friends would like to uh, watch this sometime. So let me know when you release it, that, uh, or if it's on uh, Facebook or on, and um, TBTL sometime, let me know. Yes, I can uh, get my friends to watch it. The plan will be live from uh, uh, Monday, uh, Monday 8, uh, 8 p.m. after the uh, uh, national oh, okay. news sure. at RTTL, and they will go into the uh, RTTL YouTube channels as well. So it will be available online. Online as well, yeah. yeah. Great. Excellent. Good. I'll let my friends know. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. Keep up the great work. Okay. Good. Thank I'll you talk very to much. You some other time. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye.